first. Well, the game's all getting here. Mel, you're going to laugh at me because oh. I forgot to hit the go live before I hit the intro. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hit the thing. I don't think anybody saw it. I <laughs> live right after. That way it's it's already going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, so, yeah at think. any rate, yeah. At any rate, we're all learning. We're yeah. learning. So let's see who's all here so far. Cheryl and Danine are here. How are you, girls? Hi, ladies. And Jamie's here. It's the, first, it's the first day of spring, so I it wear my is. spring flowers. <laughs> you do look so pretty. Thank you, dear. <laughs> flowers. I love it. It was so nice here. So, well, it still is nice here today. Super yeah. nice. It yeah. was in the 50s. Tomorrow's going to be in the 60s. I'm going to go hiking. Ooh. Exciting. That sounds like fun. We're going to go grocery shopping. <laughs> I did that today. Oh, <laughs> yeah. that yesterday. Lori Thank says, hi, cool. all. Be in soon. Got to finish something. I and Janine you. said, saw nothing. Yeah, that was totally my, my bad. <laughs> my bad. The I scene. missed you this morning, Lori. Hi, Lori. Lori, sweet. Yes. She's a sweet I, lady. Yes, she is. How are you, Cheryl? Cheryl's here. Cheryl's a sweet lady, too. <laughs> that's Everybody's they're sweet. all sweet. They're all sweet. That's what here is. This, this is the sweetest group on YouTube. That's why it's so small. <laughs> We're the sweetest. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I, I had forgotten to hit the go live button and I had our intro going for two minutes and we were muted. And then I realized I never hit the go live button. So nobody <laughs> saw it. But um, each one of us has to do this um, every week. So it's not like something that only one of us needs to learn how to do. We all have to learn how to do it and we all have to practice it. So we get to we get a kind of a firm grip on it a grip on it and then we go for two weeks and forget it and then yeah. have to do it all again yeah we have to relearn it reteach ourselves how to do it so looks like crystal's here hey crystal how are you and um, hey, Anita is here and lizzie's here and wanda's here Hi, you guys. So crafty nice chats. Alice. what is crafty chat's first name alice alice okay and crafty chats lives in ireland right Yes. Oh, very good. And goes running. And goes running. By the Can ocean. Oh, that sounds nice. Well, not the running part, but I'd walk. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to walk by the ocean. Yeah. yeah that's a beautiful country out there. Well, at least what I've seen, the pictures I see in Ireland are so this beautiful. You know, maybe I'm yeah. just seeing the good parts, but. Yeah. No, I think that, I think it looks beautiful. I, I I think that's probably going to be a gorgeous run, for sure. Yeah. But I don't run unless somebody's chasing me. <laughs> I'll walk. I know. If I'm running, y'all better be running too. Exactly. Because there's something behind me. I used to run a lot, but now I just jiggle too much that I don't feel comfortable running. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all the pieces are flying in directions you don't want them to oh, go. <laughs> I, I tried running for a couple of years, and I just um, it just never felt natural. I, I never felt natural running. I like biking. Really? I, I my, like biking. You like biking? Yeah, yeah. My shins, my shins and ankles would hurt. So I'd get the worst shin splints and. No. Terrible. Now, if I stayed below a certain weight, it, I never hurt when I was running. But if I got like above 115, it would it would hurt when I was running. 
I think no. I was born a hundred. I was born over a hundred and fifty. <laughs> I mean, granted, I'm a short person. You're a lot shorter than us. Yeah, so, yeah. So let's see. Um, let's look at our chat here. Crystal says, "I'm okay considering the bad news." Mel knows what's going on. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Bad news, Crystal. I hope things. I hope things turn it's, around for uh, you. Keep her. Keep her. 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 Your thoughts. Her. Um, her grandmother was basically. Oh. It's been sent home for comfort. Type of oh, deal. I see. I understand That's that hard. completely. Yeah. Completely. I um, yeah. It was kind of a bittersweet day yesterday. I went to see my mom, and um, yeah, she brought home my stepdad's ashes and his memorial, and wow. and, and it was beautiful as it was. It was sad too. So sad. So I, I too, I do understand. Um. So um, Linda. Oh, your grandmother-in-law. I'm so sorry, but still, that that's grandma, though. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I wasn't clear. So Linda Rymel, Rymel uh, says hello, everyone. Hope all are well. It's warming up a bit here in England now, so my thoughts are to get out and start working on my garden. Ooh. You will have to wear one of these when you go out, Linda. Wear one of these <laughs> on your head. Encourage the flowers to grow. Now, Linda, uh, sure. do you do a floral garden or do you do a kitchen garden? So uh, Debbie says, hi, y'all. Live. Hi, hi y'all. First live heard about you from Ginger oh, last night on Kim oh, and Live. Welcome, yeah. Debbie. We're happy to yeah. have you. Welcome, welcome. So yeah. nice to see you here. Uh, Deneen went to Michael's today, but nothing, nothing there. <gasps> what? Well, they have a big sale going on, so they do. And I, 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 in thirty minutes, I dropped a hundred dollars in Michaels the other day. So, oh boy, <laughs> it took me thirty minutes. <laughs> it's easy to do. It yes, is. it is. But I had a budget, and that was well within my budget because I intended on spending money on your. Yeah, house. well, that yeah, you had set that day aside, and you had been planning on that, and I was, so, I was like living vicariously through Mel. I was so excited for. Her. I'm like, I, I think I texted her at like yeah. eight o'clock in the morning. I'm like, no, it's your big day. I'm so happy for you. And then, and then I looked around. It and like I wanted it too, though. Nothing like I wanted it. Then too. I looked around at my own surroundings. I was at work at my desk. It's pouring Aww. rain outside, and I'm like, <laughs> "Go, Mel, get <laughs> for me. <laughs> get some yarn." <laughs> <laughs> so Alice, Alice says, "I I do plenty of jiggling, but still got to do the running." <laughs> uh -huh. So Nancy's yeah. here. Hi, Nancy. And Wanda asked if we saw Kate's video yesterday. I didn't really see any videos yesterday myself. I was no. working and doing I was recording videos. Unfortunately, I did not get a chance to watch really any videos yesterday. Yeah. Now was was Kate's video yesterday the one where she went to she got the Michael call? I don't know. I didn't see it. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think that was it. I no, I haven't watched it yet. Uh, Jamie says that's horrible. I thought it was just our crappy Michaels that was lacking in yarn. Ours had quite a bit um, <clears throat> yesterday, but all I bought was hooks yesterday. Bought a great big hook. It's so funny. My husband saw this hook and he goes, "That looks like it should be in a whaling museum. It looks like a harpoon." <laughs> <laughs> like that's nothing. They get bigger. <laughs> uh, you said what size was that hook? It was longer. It's a 16 millimeter. Oh, wow. Okay. I was going to say the, um, I don't know if I have it in here. But I've seen like 25 millimeter. Those big yeah, wooden yeah. ones. Are you saying it's big like, um, oh, I can't find it now. I I'm must have it in a bag. I am now. a yarn enabler. <laughs> I was looking at the chat. Yes. Yeah. Lizzie went to Michael's earlier today and is going to blame Ginger. Knitting needles that kill vampires. Where are you going to be going through Lawrence? Are you going through on uh, I seventy? Hmm. That's cool. 
So Linda says, it's a cottage garden. I did have a small allotment, but I had to give it up due to my options and rheumatoid arthritis. So it's a bit, then a sit, then a bit, then a sit. Oh, I, I understand what you mean. Yeah. You sit for a little bit, and then you do a bit, and then you sit a little longer. Mm -hmm. I understand that. Um, Wanda says uh, about Kate's video, I think. Noah Dyer contacted her. It was horrible. Oh, oh yeah. I, now, I did watch that one. I thought it was really good. That was totally Kate. I'll have <laughs> to check it out. I'll have to check it yeah. out. It was like, wow. That's why we love Kate. <laughs> yep. Yep. She just tells it like it is. Um, so let's see. Debbie says that Kim showed a 35 millimeter last night. And oh. Alice says, I think Kim has a 25 millimeter. I have seen them. They're big and huge. I just, I don't know what I would use them for. But my biggest hook is a 15 and I, I use that a lot, but, um, I don't know. I just can't imagine using anything bigger. Well, I'm you, go ahead, Ginge. Maybe if you put 10 strands of yarn together. I know. I was showing the girls earlier that I'm making a rug mm -hmm. with my scrap. that. And I'm uh, using five strands together. So that's why I needed the big hook. <laughs> I said I won't buy any more yarn until I've gone through this suitcase full. <laughs> and it's literally a suitcase full of... Wow scraps so and i still scraps? have i yeah. still have more on the shelf <laughs> yeah uh, i don't know all i end up with like is is the little the little scrap balls that um something I like i don't know how i end up with so much i could yeah I've, i don't even want to look anymore on that shelf because it's going to go in the suitcase and then i'm not going to be able to buy yarn for a long long time <laughs> that's funny <laughs> oh goodness uh, let's see. Okay, so there we go. That's a scrap ball of mine. That's what I usually end up with. Let's see. Oh, that's all you've got? Like that size. Well, I have a few of these, but like this size is what I usually end up with. Oh, okay. You guys don't even want it. Do you want to see what I have? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so we can all feel better about ourselves. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Let's just say that. I, hold on. I'm actually making, I've got video whips now. I do too. Yeah, I do where, that. Where I've got a pile of stuff over here that I'm going to make videos about. And it's getting yeah. to be pretty, pretty big. Okay. Yeah. I have so many ideas for videos in my head. I've got to, um, I've got to get them made. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is this is one of my scrap containers. Okay. Wow. <laughs> and I have them standing on edge right there. Just Oops, pull them out. I'm of sorry, the trying to make it big, Ginge. And then I just pull them out of the top. Switch, switch, Ginger. Like, drag her up to your spot, and then, and then do what you did to make yourself big. But you gotta, you gotta drag Ginger up to your spot when we're all together first. <laughs> okay. This is Streamyard lessons. Like that? Oh, okay. Yeah, and then now, now I can do it. So the person up there goes big. Okay. There. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So that's what yeah, I'm not looking at too. I have. That's what mine looks like. Yeah, but it's not in a basket, it's in a suitcase. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and then, okay, oh no, you can't see it. Oh yeah, you can. That bag has scrap wool. That bag has scrap, like, rug yarn. There's a couple other bags that have, this just has my bigger pieces of scraps. And then I kind of... I've got two smaller ones of smaller pieces of scraps. Wow. Okay. Okay. So Linda says, is your rug a bathroom rug or a lounge rug, Julie? I think it's going to be a rug that goes in front of my kitchen sink. But I did make a bath mat, too. That one's already done. I made this one earlier in the week. 
So. Yes, I love I love scrappy projects like that where you I get do all those pretty colors. I love it. Yeah. yeah. And it's so funny because I'm using um, in both of the rugs. It's so whippy chick. I've got um, I've got a uh, big twist twinkle in there for both oh, of them. It's a little, it's so a there's little, just a little bit of that sparkle there. And I said something about the sparkle to my husband the other day, and he goes, "Oh, your favorite color." <laughs> yep, sparkle's my favorite color. So uh, Sarah Linfield's here. She says, evening all. First time I've managed Hi, to Sarah. talk to you. Hi, Sarah. Welcome to the party. Hi, Sarah. You don't have to wear crazy flowers on your head, but you just might want to. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Maribel. Let's see. And Granny D. Granny D's here. Oh, good. Hi, Granny D's here. I've got to get caught up here. Um. Hi, Debbie. Crystal says that her husband offered to take her to Hobby Lobby this week, this week, and she was shocked because he never offers to do Ooh. that. Uh, did you take him up on it, Crystal? Did y'all go make a Hobby Lobby trip? This I, he says, oh, yes, yeah. so he doesn't do that often. She took him up on it. So, All right. Yeah, this is the week to do it because this is their 30% off week. Uh, Lori says, at least those scraps are your scraps. I have purchased other people's scraps from marketplaces and thrift stores guilty i have done that i oh yeah i have done that but i've also donated some too <laughs> but yeah hey, if they're good in good shape and you get rugs like that hey pamela nice to see you yeah i am making one pamela if you're still here i'm making a towel one of your towel toppers right now that is what oh I'm that's doing. right Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is that is what I still need to do that. I have a, what kind of yarn are you using for it? Are you using cotton? No, I, well, I use cotton on um, two of the ones that I made just for color matching, but I'm using acrylic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Linda, you are right. Those uh, square, that square was going to be for a blanket, but it was so stiff that I was like, there's no way I'd want to use that as a blanket. So I got thinking about it and it seemed like a bath mat was a good idea. And it's kind of funny because after my son got out of the shower this morning, he was walking around the house barefoot. And I said, put your feet on that. See how it feels. <laughs> Perfect. He's like, it feels good. And I'm like, okay, good. Well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right. Let's see here. Uh, Whisper SDI is here. Hello, Whisper. Hi, Whisper. You know what? This morning I didn't ask you what your name was, Whisper. I just kept calling you Whisper. <laughs> Maybe Bar that's Whisper. It's Barbara, right? It's Barbara. Oh, someone says hi, Barb. So I'm guessing that I it's think Barbara. It Barbara because she sent me a message, which you guys she posted it in our Facebook group, but she has this little fairy village going on. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, oh, I did see pictures of the fairy village. Yes. Was Aww. that in your Facebook group? Uh, no, no, no. Well, I thought she was that in yarn hookers. I think it was in yarn hookers. I thought oh, okay. I'll have to go back and look. I don't want to do that right now, but um, yeah, yeah, that's okay. Um, I did see pictures program. of it though. I did. Um, Danina is working on number 88. I'm guessing she's talking pocket shot. That, her blue oh, hat. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. She's working on her. Danine does. I'm sorry, I was thinking of wow. Um, Deneen does the pocket shawls. Pocket shawls, yeah, yeah. So, so Deneen, do you do people order them and then you make them, or do you make them and then people come buy them? I think that she sells them. Or I think she told us last week at some. She does brick and mortar stores, but also online. I think she said. Oh, okay. Yeah, and Whisper says the picture was in hook to the left. I'm sorry, Barb. Oh, got it. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So this week, this week we are talking about kits. Yes. This was an idea that just kind of popped into our heads at the very end of our episode last week. Like we hadn't, we hadn't planned on this one for a long time, but I think it was a fun topic. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. So uh, we thought, you know, what would, what would you put in a kit for somebody who, He's either is an avid crocheter and likes to make certain kinds of projects, or maybe it's a beginner and you want to give them the things they need. So we came up with kit ideas. 
So are you guys ready to start the slideshow? Always. You're All ready. Right. All right. Let's see if I can share the screen properly today. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. I was dancing to your little music you were making there. Oh, mine? Yeah, it's not a it's not a show unless I sing, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. So we are creating kits with the yarn hookers. Yay! Oh, All right. So I just discovered I'm a Gurumi recently. Is it showing up? I'm sorry, I don't have two screens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it is. All right, so I just discovered I'm a Gurumi last fall, and I started with a cute little chick. Actually, it looks a little like this one. And um, I just loved it. It was so much fun. And um, there's a few things, though, that I found that you have to have with I'm a Gurumi. And one is at least one stitch marker, because mm -hmm. you're constantly going around and around and around and around, and you need to know where you started. And also, because you are going around so many times, it's good to have a, a little um, row counter. Hmm. I don't know. Those are just two things that, for me, I would not be able to do amigurumi without those two tools. I just needed them. Sense. Yeah. Yeah. Very helpful. So, um, so for me, if I was going to make an amigurumi kit, I would include stitch markers and scissors. And if your scissors are fun, they work better. I'm just convinced. Well, I mean, I can imagine those unicorn scissors probably work really good. I know. Who doesn't want to cut their yarn with the unicorn horn? <laughs> right? I do. It just makes it a lot more magical all around. Um, to answer, Debbie Perea says, do you want thumbs or not on the lives? If you're talking about thumbs up, anytime you can give us a thumbs up, we absolutely oh, appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. We yeah. love right. our thumbs up. I'm thinking, isn't isn't it on um, Crystal's lives that if you get more than a thousand, something weird happens, like the light gets turned off or something? Oh my gosh, we well, are not at that point yet. So. Let's hope that it's not at that point. Let's hope that that's a problem for us someday. It probably yeah. won't be a problem tonight, but let's we hope, hope for that problem. Yeah. Thank you for asking, Debbie. I appreciate it. Definitely. Uh, so um, let's see. So I already said stitch marker, scissors, and a row counter. Mm -hmm. um, also cotton yarn in lots of colors. I I'm told that cotton yarn works best for amigurumi, but I've used oh. acrylic. I like using acrylic. Um, if, and if you use like a four weight yarn, your project is just going to be bigger. That's the only issue that I find with it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, pattern books. There's tons and tons of different kinds of pattern books. And Usually, if a person has a specific interest, like maybe they're into Harry Potter or maybe they're into Minecraft or something like that, there's usually a bunch of patterns that you can get specific for those different interests. Um, I, I saw think, one for the Golden Girls. I was just going to say, I've even seen one for the Golden Girls. Um, yeah, they're really fun. So yeah. um, tape measures are good, too, and uh, tapestry needles, so you can weave in the ends, of course, mm -hmm. and polyfill. And I do have a couple of um, links here. Uh, Stella's Yarn Universe I have found very helpful as I've started learning how to do amigurumi. And um, so that's a great YouTube channel to check out. And also under the little chicks there um, is the um, blog where I found the pattern for those little, those little birdies. They're so cute. Now, is that what you made your... Little, and I forget the name of your little chick. Herbert or Hubert. <laughs> Excuse me. And was yeah. he from that pattern? No, he was not from that pattern. Um, I, I can't remember if he was from Stella's or not. I think he's from Stella's Yarn Universe. Oh, got you. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Let me go to the next slide. So that's Amigurumi. Awesome. So, um, also, one thing I like to do is sock knitting. I'm actually wearing a pair of my socks today. Oh, um, wow. And there's only one pair of socks that I've ever been able to make. <laughs> and those are by Very Pink Knits. And I've actually got the picture here at the bottom. Um, the, I have the pattern and I watched the video while I, I make them. And it's uh, the, 
the video is called Learn to Knit Socks Toe Up Using German Short Rows. So she breaks everything down really, really well in that video. And um, I love, I love that channel. She's awesome. And also what's interesting about that pattern is it calls for sport rate, sport weight, mm -hmm. not rate. <laughs> um, and uh, so they're a little bit thicker socks. Yeah. So, so it's always easier to start something new, I think, with thicker yarn rather than a like super baby fine. Yeah. What but size needles did you, do you use in that pattern? Okay, so in that pattern, you use a 3.25 millimeter okay. needle. And I actually, I'll come back on to StreamYard here. Um, let's see. Nope, that's Ginger. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I got to <laughs> figure it out again. Hang on a minute. <laughs> if you're doing, yeah, there you go. I love it. Okay. Oh, no, this button. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so I actually um, have my, my needles here because I thought you guys would like to see them. They're so teeny tiny. I like, I like the chow goos. Are those stainless steel? Yes, they are. So these ones are a little bit longer. The cable is a little bit longer. These are the ones I usually use. So they're really pretty tiny. I mean, like when I'm holding them in my hand, that's how small they are. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're teeny tiny, but you get used to it. It's just like, yeah. just like I had to get used to using that huge ginormous hook. <laughs> you know, you just get used to using the, the, right. little, the little needles. So I like the chow goo twists. And also these ones, um, they call them twists because they're interchangeable. So like mm -hmm. this one has a much longer needle than this one. So you can interchange them. Okay. And some people like to have long on one side and short on the other. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> it just depends on, on what works best what, in your yeah. hand. What what's your comfort level and what I right think I have a hook on my needle. I don't I'm just kidding. <laughs> I I don't knit you guys. So <laughs> you're so cute. Okay. So um also you're going to need fun scissors as always. And um tapestry needle to weave in your ends, but it's gonna be of course a much smaller tapestry needle than you usually use. You're also going to need four double pointed needles, though, mm -hmm. not just the not just the circulars. Just, and that's just to get the toes and the heels done. I don't know. Using four is hard. <laughs> I saw, you get, used, you get yeah, used to it. You get used to it. I saw a funny cartoon um, and it had four double pointed needles on it. And then a crochet hook was talking to them and it said, you guys are codependent. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was cute. That's awesome. Um, so a measuring tape is good. A row counter is also good because, again, you're going around and around and around. And mm -hmm. you just need a little project bag because it's a very little project. This is my sock bag. Mm -hmm. as oh, as okay. Well, well, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, the little, the little, yeah. little. You, you, don't, you don't need a big one. Like, you know, even your, your skeins are so, they're teeny. You know, they're tiny. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. I think that's it for my sock bag. Let me see. I can pull it back up here. Yeah, that's everything. But yeah, I I don't know. I hear a lot of people say they're scared of making socks. You just I like that clothesline of socks. I do too. I do too. <laughs> they're wicked cute. But uh, yeah. don't be intimidated. Just go for it. Just, just do it. Them. Yeah. So. I think this is one of Mel's kits. Yes, I have three kits. So my kits are going to be dedicated to your the beginner crochet up to it's it's just like regular crochet kits because that's what I do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. So this first kit is, and I don't know that you would call it a kit, but say you've got a friend that says, "Hey, I want to learn how to do that." Um. Then I would recommend you get them one skein of yarn and one hook. So you want to get a basic skein of yarn. So things like the Just Yarn Worsted. Um, and actually I would go for that last because it's better if you can find a skein of yarn that has that easy pull tab on it. You can easily pull oh, out. I love yeah. the easy tab, yeah. Yeah, the yarn. 
Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I believe I know Mainstays Basic Yarn is like that. Uh, I believe Super Saver is like that. I believe Big Twist is like that. I'm not certain about I love this yarn if it has that easy pull, but um, uh, the, I know those other three do. So I would suggest going with that and then just giving them a, getting them a five and a half millimeter hook. Um, I would go with an aluminum or plastic, something cheaper, because this is somebody who doesn't know if they like the right. art yet. Right. Um, and this is just a way for them to know if they do. And then um, a beginner's book. Now I put a star by that because some people don't learn well by books. So you may just get them a page of links to great starter tutorials. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or, um, or, um, or you can print them up some beginner patterns. Um, I usually, I have, a, a lit, um, on my, my personal YouTube, I have actually a, uh, a YouTube uh, list. You know how you can make, um, a playlist? Yeah. A playlist, playlist. So anybody that tells me they're interested, I send them to that playlist. Um, so that could be how you do it as opposed to a book or something like that. Also, mm -hmm. some people learn better from a book. They like seeing the, it in a book. Mm -hmm. uh, I wish I had YouTube when I was learning because that would have been a little bit easier than a left-handed person learning from right-handed books. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so, but that's, that's what I would say for the person who, this is the, I want to learn kit to make right. sure that they truly get into the art. So you're not wasting that much money. You spend a couple bucks on the skein of yarn. Or you even just go from your own personal stash and give them, say, one of your um, your scraps. Yeah. You know? um, and then we a can have is. my scraps. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, and then you know most most people have that been in crochet for a while. We probably have like five to ten five and a half millimeter hooks that we've just accumulated over the years. You can give them one of your hooks. So and yeah. I've done that before. So. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this is the one that you don't you you don't put as much effort in, but you do have it available for people who are like, hey, I want to learn the art. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's a great one. All right, so this is for somebody who is a true. They've 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 learned now. They're they're into it. They're hooked on crochet. They're hooked and, on crochet. Hooked on crochet. Hooked. Now that picture in there is an actual beginner's kit that I gave to somebody to my sister. Oh wow, that's cool. So, um, and that that's in uh, where? Did, no, I didn't post that on, on Instagram. I think I posted it somewhere else. Anyway, I don't remember anymore. Um, <laughs> I gave it to her about a year. It was about a year ago. I gave it to her. So that the um, little like purse looking thing that i made that is a um a pattern from uh jada and stitches from her okay. uh, and not the turtle applique i got that somewhere else but the the um bag itself was um uh, yeah a jada and stitches. that was jada i do love that turtle applique i love turtles yeah. i think they're so sweet well and my sister-in-law is a she collects turtles she has oh, like nice. everybody. everybody gets her something with a turtle on it yeah <laughs> Yeah. So in the beginner, in the true beginner's kit, you want to put a little bit more. Um, I would say a small hook set, either a three set or a six set. You want to make sure that there's a five and a half millimeter in there. Now, also, if you know the person well enough and you know what they like to um, like to weight yarns that they found that they like to use, then maybe instead of getting them a hook set, you buy the individual hooks and the weights to match the yarn weight that they like. So, um, so if they like using worsted, then you go with the five and a half millimeter. If they like uh, bulky, then you go with an eight millimeter, that kind of thing. Right. Um, so you can utilize <clears throat> the hooks. Now, if you don't know that, then you buy the hook set. And um, I do like to get the set with the five and a half in the middle, and then you go either way. In either yeah. direction. Um, and, and that helps, especially as, as people start to learn their own personal tension um i could go up to a six millimeter and comfortably crochet um yes. and within the right gauge on a worsted because i'm a tight crocheter but somebody mm -hmm. who crochets a little bit looser may be better with a five millimeter um so uh that's why i like to to consider consider the set 
And in this case, I would say still stay with, if you go with ergonomic, I would go with like the cheaper ergonomic because yeah. they've gotten hooked, but they don't know if this is something they're going to really, really stick with yet. Yeah. Um, so I would say go with the cheaper ergonomic or just stick with the aluminum or plastic hooks or even bamboo that I've yeah. seen. Um, yeah. Definitely start with the stitch markers because as they start learning more, they start crocheting in the round as opposed to just back and forth. And um, when you're crocheting in the round, you want to have stitch markers for that. Um, and and then one thing I like I like to do whenever I make these kits is I I pick out one I either buy a kit and give it away or I pick out a pattern, and then I buy all the yarn and I create my own little. Here's one project for you to do with all this other stuff that I gave you. It's you know Mel, it's interesting um, because Lori, see if I can put it up here. She said she gave her coworker a hook and a ball of yarn from Dollar Tree and showed her a stitch a day and then a technique, weaving in ends, magic circle, oh. decrease, increase a day. So that's really cool. Yeah. I love that. It sounds awesome. really similar. Yeah. Awesome. And then when she gets into it, then you can give her a full kit. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Um, also include in the beginner's kit a tape measure. It doesn't have to be fancy. Um, just a fabric um, tape measure. Well, I say fabric, like um. I know what you mean. Tape measure, one that can bend. Yeah, um, flexible you one. You guys all know that. Yeah. Yeah. We know what you mean. Don't go to the hardware store and get the tape measure. No. That's not the kind you want. <laughs> get one at Dollar Tree. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and then I call them yarn needles, tapestry needles, darning needles, whatever you want to call them, but something to weave in those ends. So that include that. Um, and then also include a notebook. And then either a pen or pencil. Good thinking. Uh, mm -hmm. A small bag for hooks. So like a cosmetic bag or a pencil bag, but a small bag to put the hooks and, and all the other little utensils, put those in. And then um, and then also you might want to include, include a project bag. You can hand make one, either sew it together or like I did there, I crocheted that bag together to, to hold a small project. Mm -hmm. um, or the yarn drum, like what Julie gifted us for at Christmas. Yeah. You know, that's like one project uh, bag. Or, right. or a small project bag is better, what I say. So um, so that would make a good, I have learned how to crochet. Now give me the tools to really take off with it. And this, this is what this crochet kit does. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome sauce. So. Love that. I like how you broke it up into like the beginner yeah. <laughs> and then before that you had like, I want to, and now you've got that. I got this. I yeah. Got this. Now this is somebody who's totally, they've been crocheting for a couple of years. They know that they love it. They started their own collection. Um, they, you know, they just love it. So these are some kits and, and there's something that's a little outside of a kit. Yeah. Um, unless you consider a whole room, a kit, <laughs> but Ginger's um, not quite the kit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but um, so one thing that you want to consider for somebody, if you want to do make them a, a bag a kit for this kind of person, you want to start looking at the higher end hooks. And when I say higher end, you either do artisan, which um, there is some beautiful, beautiful resin hooks with like these flowers in oh, them. Yeah. And everything. Um, that might be a little on the high, 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 high end because they're like a hundred and some odd dollars. I know um, this person who makes um, like characters on the tops and there there was a full set of Bob's Burgers hooks. Oh, oh wow. I wanted to get them so bad, but they're kind of expensive. <laughs> they yeah. are. They yeah. are expensive. Um, so I think that's going to be your most expensive is Artisan. Um, and then you have Furls hooks, which I think we all know what a Furls is. I have one. I meant to have it out, but of course I did not grab it. It's okay. I've got one handy. There you yeah, go. I've got one too. I got oh, one now. Let's race. Let's see who could get theirs out first. <laughs> it was Ginger. Ginger won. Oh, dang it. I was a close second. I got I've got a girl. There you go. I'm in last place, but so <laughs> a pearl's hook, <laughs> which these are, they're not crazy expensive, but they are probably the most expensive um behind the artisan hooks and they actually have some artisan hooks on furls that are expensive they're like 140 dollars a hook they're oh, crazy oh ouch 
Yeah, but, yeah, but they're beautiful. But they are beautiful. It's like a, it's like a resin and wood blend that they do. Um, they're beautiful, but I'm just gonna yeah. look at them in pictures. And then there's also the hooks like this, which those hooks are a little bit more expensive, I think, than these. That's hooks. what mine is. Yeah, I have one like Ginger's. Yeah, and then and then there's these hooks with the which these are resin and they're pretty light. I love that one. Um, and then Ginger has the wooden ones, which the those are the least expensive of the yeah. and wooden. Those are the least expensive of the furls hooks. Love my furls. Would you, you rather have furls or furls? <laughs> <laughs> but one thing to remember about furls hooks is you need a, a, a when you're buying this for somebody else, you want to understand what they like. So the streamline with the metal is a little bit heavier. These are lighter. Um, and these have a very easy glide on it. Whereas, <laughs> what's going on, Willie? <laughs> um, and then um, I, I, the wooden ones have a more a little bit more of a drag on it. And some people like that. So there's a little bit more of a drag on it. Uh, so understanding that also, I believe, um, I know these, the resin ones are an inline hook like Susan Bates. So understanding what somebody likes as far as that goes, I think that there's one, I think on the streamline, the ones with the metal tips, you can choose whether or not you didn't like the furls. I sent it back. Oh, that's okay. Lori, not, it's not for everybody. And I actually haven't used this one yet. I'm going to see. <laughs> Um, but I think I might like it because the handle might not poke into my arm, my the right here, like my other hooks do. So we'll see. Yeah. But um, so, yeah, I apologize for the barking dog, guys. That's okay. Sorry, okay. my my son was out in the driveway and got him all excited. Yep, he was all wound up. <laughs> and uh, we'd never kick anybody out of our club. For That's heaven's right. sake, Lori, no way. Like furls or not. No uh, way. I don't like them because, they, this, like I said, this is um this is an inline hook. And I tend to prefer tapered over inline. I haven't used it yet, though. Yeah, and I love inline. That's my... Yeah. So everybody's <laughs> different. Everybody has their own preference. So. Exactly. I love them all. Now, the metal and furls hooks are heavier. I think than the resin or the wood. So that's something to keep in mind too. So those are things that you want to keep in mind before you buy a furls hook. Now, if yeah. you know a person likes um, like the boy style, which is the tapered end, then um, then you want to go with uh, either tulips or clover armor. Um, now these days they're both comparable in price. Um, they are comparable in quality. Um, and, and really it just comes down to that little bump, uh, uh, tulip has a bump at the end uh, and furls, I'm mean, not furls, clovers does not. And it's, a, I've understand that the bump at the end is better for a pencil grip, um, which I have here. It's I better for it. a pencil grip, whereas, um, the knife grip, uh, the, it, the clover is like that little bump at the yes. end. Yes, I I have that exact hook and I love it. <laughs> and Julie's a pencil grip. I actually really? it does it doesn't affect me one way or the other having that little bump at the end, but I'm a knife grip. Um and but I just think the glide's a little bit better on the um clover. And I, I realize my bun's going a little crazy now that you're focused on me. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to read this one because it's just cute. <laughs> <laughs> D, I love that. <laughs> Sit him straight to Oh, cute. Very cute. Okay. Are you okay, done with no. this slide? Should I move on? No. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. You're still going. You're still going. <laughs> so that's enough about hooks. <laughs> so, but that's a, the, the, if you want to gift something to the crocheter that is already really into it, has already started buying their own basic stuff and you want to help them kick it up a notch, then you buy them some higher end hooks. Um, you can also get them a crochet magazine subscription. There's plenty out there. There's crochet, crochet world. Mm -hmm. um, there was, there's a couple other, I just can't think of the names off the top of my head, but do look, do a search on Amazon for crochet magazine and you can subscribe to through them. I think the most expensive is about $30 a year. Um, and then if you have, if you know, that <clears throat> eyeing particular crochet books, 
pick them up that book, you know? Um, and then also another thing is some higher end yarn. So instead of buying your basic acrylic yarns, which there's a place for this and it's great, go to a small little shop and buy, find some hand dyed yarn, find some silk yarn, you know, get them a little bit higher end yarns or some fancier stitch markers. So again, you can go to, um, Etsy to find I was say Etsy. Yeah. yeah, Etsy to find some fancier or I know Kim makes some with um, affordably crafty. She makes some. I know I think it's Inga that makes some. So um, there's a lot of people in the community that make some uh, fancier looking uh, stitch markers. Or and I'll talk about this next one last. You can uh, instead of the the drum, which is a nice one project, you can get a bigger, more compartmentalized crochet bag. Mm -hmm. uh, for that yeah. person so that they can carry around a large project or multiple projects. Yeah. Um, oh, that's a nice one, Ging. Yes, that's beautiful. Uh, now, oh, the I'm last, right. but definitely not least, this is not necessarily a kit unless you want to get them a whole room as a kit. <laughs> You're going to take them to Ginger's house. That's right. You're going to, this. It, if you want to, you can make them a yarn wall. Uh, and it doesn't mean you have to fill it with yarn. Just make them a wall so that they can <laughs> put their yarn in it. <laughs> like, uh, well, they, like, no, fill like up the yarn this. Wall. <laughs> like that this would be perhaps. perfect. <laughs> yeah. See, that's a she's sitting in one big giant crochet kit right there. Yep, <laughs> it really is. It really yeah. is. If I want to go to my smaller bag, I go to my yarn car. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, me too. Right. <laughs> oh, so that's that's the that's what you get the the crocheter that that uh, is really going, and you know that it's it's their hobby and they love it, and you know that they'll continue yeah. on with it. Then that's the kind of gifts that you look at for them. Yeah, I would. I, like I don't know. I, 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 we were talking about crochet kits, but it. I don't know. It. Yes, it's a kit. You can get them one of those big bags and fill it up with stuff, but. Um, it's also a gift, I guess. That's why I kept thinking of that. <laughs> yeah. There are also, yeah. some of the places, like if you just can't decide what kind of hook you want to you want to get for somebody, you can get a gift card. Gift yep. cards are great. Yeah. Um, I you know. know Go ahead. Oh, Amazon has gift cards, and they have hooks on Amazon. There's Furls gift cards. Mm -hmm. I'm. I don't know about Clover or anything like that. I know you can get Clover on Amazon. Yeah. Uh, can't you get clover at um, Joanne's? Yes. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> I think that's the only shop you can get clover at is Joanne's. But clover is uh, the clover pom pom maker I bought at Michael's. So yeah. do they sell any clover hooks though? I don't well, think I've, I've seen, seen any. I've clover hook at, at Michael's. Yeah, I haven't either. I haven't I, either. I don't know. I, I, the only place I've seen them is at Joanne's. Oh. No, no, don't get me wrong. That's a Clover Armour. I have seen Clover Soft Touch at, um, which I just haven't used, at uh, Michael's. That's the flat one with a darker center. Yeah. I've seen those, but I haven't seen the Clover Armour. Gotcha. Um, Jamie says, I saw on another channel recently that those hair makeup kits from the 80s are coming back, and she uses them as her take-all kit. They're called Caboodles. I remember oh, yeah. those. Yeah, the tackle it. boxes for makeup. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Bobby Ellison says, my roomie got me a cool project bag that has wheels Ooh. and a handle like a pull behind suitcase. So that's awesome. pretty cool. Also, if you're looking, if you want to make your own project bag, Kim has a new pattern for a project bag. Cool. It's like one of, those round, one of those round ones. Kim from Affordably Crafty. Which I like that. Now, is that made? Did you make that with cotton? Cotton. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay. Crystal is saying that you can get clover at Hobby Lobby. Oh, okay. Gotcha. And Lori says if you want to get someone a yarn room, you could just buy them a shed or an RV. Yes. I yes. Like that idea. That's a great idea. <laughs> Actually, I was talking. I was talking about for here um, if we were going to stay here, but I do plan on moving in a couple of years, so we're not going to do it. But we, I was talking about getting a shed specifically to create my office and um, she shed. Yeah, she yeah. shed. She, she shed. shed. Mm -hmm. I would like to have a trailer so I could take it with me anywhere. 
So you have a little mobile mobile home that's a yard. Uh, and then we would be visiting each other all the time. All the time. All the time. All the time. I, I, this is happening. I, I it's yeah. happening. Yes. <laughs> yes. And maybe I, twenty years from now, but it's happening. No, I won't be <laughs> that long. Get a big well, for the yarn deep peanut. Right. <laughs> all right. So I think Ginger's kit was the Tunisian, right? Mine's the Tunisian. Okay. And. Okay, first of all, there's the hooks, which I'm going to go over in a minute. Uh, so we'll come back to the hooks. Now, I've got, I've got a bag full of stuff here. Of course, we've got the stitch markers, which are basic. Scissors, tapestry needle, measuring tape, project bag, row counter, and yarn. Same thing as every other crochet kit. Okay, and like the project the, bag, it doesn't need to be bigger or anything. It's just your basic project. Okay. The same thing you would use for for uh, for a crochet project. And okay. all all of the crochet project bag rules apply that, that you just described. <laughs> and where Tunisian is different is the hooks. Ooh, can you clip or click to the next one? Oh, sorry. Party, please. Okay. Now the first one is like she's holding right there and like I'm holding right here. The long single ended hook. And it's got, it's a much longer like compared to a regular hook. Let me find a regular hook. Now they sometimes call those Afghan hooks, right? Yeah, sometimes call them Afghan hooks. They're this one is about as twice as long. Tunisian needles or Tunisian hooks are like anywhere from 10 to 14 inches, just depending what size project. And see if I compare my regular size hook to it, it's about that big. Wow. Um, but this is like if you're just making a longer straight across project, that's what I'm making right now. And uh, it's longer so that all of the loops can fit on the hook. I don't know if you're familiar with Tunisian or not, but as you crochet across, it's kind. Of, it kind of starts to look like a knitting project because you gather up all these loops right across your across your hook, and see it starts to look like that. And by the time you're finished and get to the end of this row you know, you'll have all the loops for all the stitches on the row and then you come back through. Um, okay. But I've got it. I've got a tutorial that I'm going to be posting on that. I've even filmed it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yay. Okay. Yay. So that's the long single sided or single headed hook. Or also that known as the Afghan hook, right? The Afghan hook. Now the next one is the flexible Tunisian hook. I cannot find mine anywhere i can show you what i have oh good 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 yeah i got one in a knit crate thing and i have oh you know what i do Hold on, just a sec i'm gonna go grab mine so these are the hooks and i i got these not knowing anything about it but i was like oh you know what let me see and then maybe i'll try tunisian we'll see if i end up doing it but those are the the, the flexible ends i'm not going to separate it out because i i haven't used them yet but now, Mel, what millimeter are those hooks? Like, what size are they? So, I have all different sizes here, and it, I have uh, this one. So, my biggest one, I think, is this one. That's a 10. Yeah, so there's the 10 millimeter. Okay, so, yeah. And then it goes down to a... I'd want big ones, I think. I think this is a 3. I can't read it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have your new glasses yet. That's right. I think it says a three on there. Um, but that is, I think that was the smallest one. So it's it's a pretty good range I have here. And I don't know if I like them because it's they're bamboo. So it could be that they, they end up with too much drag for me. So we'll see. Gotcha. So yeah, this, this is my set. I think it's pretty similar to yours, except yeah. it's a... Uh, pretty... It's, Prettier colored colors. tables. Yes. <laughs> I like your cat. Yeah. And I think my smallest one is uh, 
three, three millimeter. Yep, three millimeter, and the biggest is a ten millimeter. But okay. this is if you if you want if you want to make a serious blanket or something like that. Right. Right. Okay. And because these these wires will hold a full blanket. So, um, out of curiosity, uh, I know that like with knitting. Um, as you're knitting, even on the cables, you don't know how big your knit project is based on like what it looks like on oh, the cable. Yes. So once you need yes. Then, can you, you do? Because you, do. you, you, you get down to one loop, right? Every when, other row. Yeah. See, like you can tell how big this one is. Okay. Because when you, one row is like one full go across this way and bring it down this way. Okay, and so it's a period of size then. You don't end up with um, right. shrinking. It looks bigger when you're doing, or, or bigger. I, I forget what yeah. knitting It usually yeah. looks smaller. And then when you get it off of the needles, you're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. No, I'll show yeah. you um, when I get to the end of this row, what it looks like on the hook. Okay. I, I've been uh, working on this while we've been talking. Of okay. course you have. She's, she's so good. Well, Mel's good at it too. I can't. Well, I'm also clicking around a lot too. So yeah, I can't whenever I'm hosting. I can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. Okay, so that was the flexible Tunisian hook. These are the double-headed hooks. These are if you want. To, now I have never. I do have a double-headed hook. It's it's actually a clover, and it's um. You use it to make like in the round projects, mm -hmm. like hats or bags or something like that. I I haven't done it in the round project yet, so okay. It's going to be a whole new thing when I use it, but I'm pretty I'm pretty excited. See, I haven't even opened it up yet. I just say out loud the tip that Lori gave just gave me because I have a problem with drag on bamboo on wooden stuff. And it says, mm -hmm. Mel, try smoothing out your bamboo with wax paper. Rub on it like you would sanding with the sandpaper. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Lori. That's, yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, that's a super great idea. So it's a double and, one. Okay, so. And, uh -huh. and it also, I mean, like this clover has a really nice smooth finish. Okay. So this does not have as much drag as these wooden the oops these wooden ones do because the finish isn't quite as Better. as smooth yeah <laughs> this clover one has a really nice finish right good okay the next one is circular tunisian hooks Those i've never like heard of that Oh, they look like they're, knitting needles, but okay. Yeah, yeah. I've, those I've are never making, even heard of those. Those are for making bigger projects, so, you know, uh, Tunisian crocheting in the round, like a sweater oh, or something, okay. something like that. Something that you just need to hold more yarn on. And uh, you can also get the interchangeable hooks, So, uh, which I know Furls sells a set. And... Uh, I've seen a lot of people on Instagram uh, that I follow use these and it's like, I, I think it's frills. It, it might be somebody different, um, but they're beautiful. Uh, yeah. You crochet in the round and you can get interchangeable, interchangeable things for them too, but you can also buy the different sizes that wow. they permanently stay attached to also. That's really okay. cool. I've yeah. never heard of those. Very cool. Okay, that's it. And then the basic hook, that's kind of what I showed you at the beginning. Like for smaller projects, if you're making a little bag or, you know, something that will only, you know, spread out to the sides of that little hook. Right. You, know, you don't have to worry about it falling off. I like to use my regular hook for <clears throat> the entre interlock. Mm-hmm. Tunisian, um, just because you only have five to seven loops on the hook at a time and there's no danger of it falling off. And it's yeah. easier to work, you know, it's easier to work with a little hook, you know, it, than a bigger hook in that instance, because you don't have that extra hook hookage 
Uh, <laughs> or wait flying around. Yeah. That's what we three are. We're extra hookage. We're <laughs> extra hookage. <laughs> oh goodness. Cool. Love it, Jim. Uh, yeah. So that's that's it for the Tunisian hooks. All right. Okay. Oh, I just jumped a little bit ahead, but um, we'll go ahead and look at them anyway. We've got some Facebook challenge entries. Um, I just need to ask everybody in the group. What's up with y'all? What's going on? <laughs> Where's all of our challenges? Are you guys still working still on your baskets? baskets? Are you still working on your baskets? Or does everybody just not really like uh, the idea of baskets? We haven't had a lot of Facebook entries um, for the challenge. So get your entry in there because your odds of winning are really good. <laughs> yes. So um, we have this really cool basket weave um, basket by Elaine. Uh, also known as the Kiwi Crocheter. So, um, so cute. I doubt she's here because she's in New Zealand. So <laughs> time zones and all. And this one is by Kelly. So I thought that was really cute. The owl one. That is adorable. And these two, we've got Wendy's uh, little bunny rabbit here. Aww. And another one by Kelly. So I would love to see the other sides of that one by Kelly. It looks like maybe uh, yeah. a, a chick on the one side and that's a pig. And so I'm curious what the other sides are. And she that's mentioned, true. I think in her post on that one, that she needed to finish making the bunny ears. So I'm like, I want to see it all, all sides. Yeah. I want to see yeah. it when it's done. It's yeah. Cool. This little yeah. one, though, is that little white one made out of like the chenille yarn? Oh, the, the bunny. It I looks don't, kind of I gorgeous. don't know. Let me pull it back up again. Like it was soft and fluffy to pull it back up again here. It does look like it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It does, it looks chenille. Uh, Wanda said she just, she posted hers just before the live. So oh, next okay, week. Wanda, we'll put yours up next week. I'm glad we just, yeah, yeah. I want, want to make it a little bit of a challenge to win this challenge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. I want all of the projects. So kids <laughs> so yeah this is what it looks like when you get the loops all across the yeah okay yeah and then you go back the other way and then yeah. you get down to just one loop so yeah. you can see how big your project is now what yeah. stitch are you using on that ginger that is the honeycomb stitch the honeycomb yeah and it makes it like it's it's kind of like a knitted fabric yeah so it doesn't yeah. have quite the stretch that like a um uh uh crochet does or it's just yeah. closer together it even, it even looks like more like a knitted but it, I, I i've only done like the basic tunisian stitch but i don't think there's a whole lot of stretch to it yeah right. there's there's not a whole lot i mean a lot of give where's my bag well i have a bag here somewhere that i think it's tunisian yeah here it is a cross body bag I made it with the comfy cotton. Okay. This was my, and I mean, there's stretch, but there's not a lot of stretch. Yeah. And it's, it's really and good it's, for bags for that reason. Yeah. Because it doesn't give a lot. I just want to take a minute and say, Lori, I'm so sorry. Um, please, uh, you know, disregard what we were saying. We certainly weren't. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, we're just, you, we're, we're just playing. So, you know, <laughs> obviously all of us don't have time to be running out making baskets. I don't. Yeah. No, no, no. But um, yeah, I'm so, so sorry. And and um, we'll be thinking about you. Yeah. Poor thing. There's absolutely no pressure uh, as far as that goes. We love seeing your projects. We just want to make sure that whenever we um ask for the these competitive things the projects and the and the gifts if they're 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 hitting home if there's something that you guys would actually yeah or if it's the mark on something and maybe we don't want to do it that way then because the yeah. most important thing is we want it to be fun right right absolutely yeah we want everybody so, to have fun yeah so if you don't want to make a basket and nobody does just say eh, what were you guys thinking this is kind that of was a Exactly. It was a terrible one. It was a goofy idea. Yeah, like, <laughs> now I can't come up with the ideas anymore because I like the idea. Actually, we did all make baskets last week. Um, I, that was our theme I, last week. Was I have one this month? I have one that I'm making. It'll be a new pattern. Didn't we make baskets last week? 
Um, for our we got some baskets, but I didn't make any just for last week. I have some. Oh, you had some already. I yeah. gotcha. I gotcha. Um, okay. Jamie says, I made all six kids their Easter baskets years ago and do not want to make any more. <laughs> but Ginger has a picture of my Ginger has a picture of my flower pot cozy upside down hat. Oh, I do. So that's a flower pot a basket, right? Yeah, flower <laughs> pot's a basket. <laughs> I might be touching it a little bit there. No, Lori, I know I know that you didn't take it that way. I just wanted you to know we're thinking about you. I know yeah. it's a hard it's a hard time. I you're the second person tonight I've been like, yeah, I get it cuz I really do get it. I was there two uh 2 weeks ago myself, so. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I check out these sparkly hooks. Oh, I, 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 I have it. seen those. Okay. I gave those away in a giveaway one time. The my I, uh, my the Christmas one or you know. That's the, right. I remember that, Mel. I remember I got that. I these at Walmart. Mm -hmm. I love Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I got at Walmart? Of course, it's going to be in a video, but I'm probably going to ruin anybody watching that video. But oh my gosh. Oh, I know what that is. I love it so much. I made a whole shawl for my Ooh. sister. I think I used three or four skeins of it. I went to my I room. loved it. I don't know that I have any more. I'm looking. I don't they think I have only had these two. That's all they have left. And I went to, um, so, and I want to make a blanket out of it. So I went to Lion Brands and I bought six more. So I could, I and make a decent size yeah. of clothes, you know? Yeah. Oh, it's so, they're so pretty. I don't, I, I don't know that the color should be like fiesta. <laughs> right. I don't know what the color it's is, so but happy. it should. It's happy. It's happy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love the colors and it's such a dream to work with. It just. Yeah. It feels good. So. Yeah. When I, when uh, Mel showed it to me in our, our texting chat. I, I I think I spelled glide g g g g l l l l i i i i i d d d d d e e because it just glides. It's like it's like butter. I love that yeah. yarn. I love that yarn. It's an amazing yarn. <laughs> uh, Barbara says, "Sorry that I'm quiet. I'm trying to crochet around an iron wire." Oh, what are you doing that you need to to shape it? She's yarn bombing something. These are Jamie's baskets. Oh, cool. Those are so cool. Awesome. I love, I those, love them. Very cool, Jamie. Yeah. I She's think Ginger just, wants, Ginger just wants to show off her new phone. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that was my old phone. Oh, really? She's yeah. using her new phone, I think, probably, for the, yeah. the live. <laughs> Yeah, to do the, the video, I'm using my new phone, but this one is, check that out on the back. Oh, yeah. that's so cute. Did you guys see my llama napkins for my giveaway? Llama napkins? No, I did not see those. Oh, they're in my giveaway video. I, I still need to catch up with y'all. You guys have to check the video out and, and uh, answer the question so that okay. you can you can maybe win the, the llama napkins. But, um, <laughs> Emma or Emmy said, um, how do you know they're not alpacas? And she was right. I don't know the I don't know how to tell the difference between yeah. alpacas and llamas. So I think Jamie's alpacas gonna, are smaller and or, fluffier. No, I, I know, but I mean like in a drawing or a picture. Oh, oh. Is it the, is the front funnier? Like do they have funnier hair? Emmy's gonna have to let us know. <laughs> yes. This is true. I think alpacas are cuter and they don't spit as much. <laughs> <laughs> that's always a bonus oh yeah nobody wants to be spit at that's for no. sure uh I so don't. barbara's saying i'm making a stem for a bunch of flowers for the next fairy house okay awesome i oh, i love that that's so, so cool you guys are so talented i'm just gonna say that y'all are so talented uh -huh. i would love to see it. oh so it's for the next fairy house have you guys ever yarn bombed anything i'm not I yarn bombed my phone cord because <laughs> cool. everybody kept taking my charging cable. I'll show you. Hang on. 
Did you? I know. Um, I know because you. I mentioned her a lot, but Jaden Stitches had a had a whole thing where she was showing how to do that. I like That's that. So cool. What and, did you do, like single crochet around it or something? Yeah, yeah. It was cool. really easy. Actually, I think it's really just slip stitches. It's really fuzzy now because I did this like, I don't know, eight or nine months ago. Oh, got you. That's okay. I like it fuzzy. I know, but you know what? Nobody has taken my cable since. Because they know it's yours and they don't want a fuzzy cable. Yeah, I don't I don't imagine that either of the guys in the house want this. Yeah. <laughs> their phone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's see here. I'm I I've, I've got to get caught up because I don't know what Wanda is talking about with oh. pointed ears. <laughs> Oh, what is Wanda talking about? One has pointed ears and the other has rounded ears. Oh, she's talking about the alpacas and the llamas. Oh. Okay. Oh. Now we just have to find out which one is oh, which. Oh, wait a minute. Who has the pointed ears? The alpacas mm. or the llamas? I don't know. She didn't say. She just said one has one and one has the other, so... Oh, Lori's transferring us to her her earbuds. Um, she's going with her husband to get his first vaccine injection. I still have to schedule mine. Yeah, but somebody was telling me this morning that um that the even the first shot really kicked him on their in their in the butt. So I worry about that since I had such a reaction to the um, flu shot this year. Yeah. It didn't phase me at all. I didn't have any problem with the first one. The second one left me on the couch for a day, but it was just like a low grade fever and okay. And that's achy. You know, it was it was certainly doable if you've got a day to just spend on the couch binge watching Netflix and dozing. You know, well, I mean I'm trying to get it scheduled. I want to I'm gonna try again to get it scheduled for this Friday because I want them on Friday so that if I have to take the weekend, I, I and I told them I said, if it's the case, I may not be doing my lives the next Saturday. I don't know. It depends on how bad it hits. Yeah, me. yeah. So um Ginger, let's send you this question. She want Denine wants to buy a Tunisian hook with a cord, wants to know what to buy. What would you suggest? Oh boy. Um Should she buy a whole, a whole bunch of them like you guys did, or? I would make sure that, gosh, you kind of want to feel it. These, I, I would buy one at a time, like the size hook that you're familiar with using. Amazon has a lot of Tunisian hooks, but sometimes, and they're not that expensive. I think this set was like. <laughs> less than 20 it was like less than 20 dollars oh but, really that's not bad yeah, at all yeah it, I yeah. Think it was in the 15 dollar range yeah, yeah whereas this this single hook for the double ended was like seven dollars yeah so they getting a bunch of them yeah like maybe the way to go well, especially if you, I think if you don't know, if, if you're just trying out and you're not certain yet, that that's right. something that you'll really pick up and do. I think you go higher end once you know. Yeah, I, would, yeah, I really I would actually, this. What I would do is I would start out maybe doing a smaller Tunisian project with one of your regular hooks. That's what just, I did. Yeah, just try doing, um, you know, something small like a little cell phone bag or or even just a swatch just to learn how to use yeah. you know do the technique which you know if you you can do this on a regular hook if you go catch my uh tunisian tutorial that i did for the simple stitch i did it um like last week not this last week but the week before and see if you like it you know, if you haven't tried Tunisian before, um, another thing you can make with this, which I'm going to be coming out with a tutorial soon, is the entrelac crochet. That, and, sounds, that sounds tricky. Yeah, it's once you get used to it, it's really not. And you can do that with a regular size hook. But what I would recommend is if you have a Joann's or a Michael's or a Hobby Lobby nearby, go see if they have... Um, just these regular hooks right here. 
And I would go buy, if you want to make a bigger project, go buy one of these because they're not yeah. much more expensive than a regular hook. Mm -hmm. And you get to get a good feel of it first before you, you know, buy something more expensive or before you buy something online that you don't know for sure you'll like. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry um, for my howling cat, you guys. He is restless and howling at something he sees outside. <laughs> That's okay. I have a barking dog. Howling cat, <laughs> nothing. I probably woke up half of the listeners. They're dozing and my dog probably woke up. <laughs> so uh, Bobby Allison says that the llama has pointed ears. Oh, okay. very good. Very good to know. That's a llama. Llama. Is your mama a llama? We used to, I used to be a pre-K teacher and this was back in the day when you bought books on tape and they were literally on tape. Right. <laughs> on a yeah. cassette. And um, I would always buy the books on tape for my, my students to listen to when they were having their quiet time. And I would Aww. just put books on tape on and they would just lay there quietly and listen to the stories. And when I bought the one for, is your mama a llama? The tape that came was in Spanish. Oh, and they loved it. They listened to it anyway. That's it was, cool. It's to Mama and Lama. And I just, every time I see llamas, I think of that. <laughs> Your mind goes, that is so llama. cute. It's yeah. to Mama and Lama. I got it. It was so cute. They were learning some Spanish. They were. They were. We actually did learn a little bit of Spanish because we had a couple so of Spanish speaking students. So we had to. <laughs> they would teach us. Uh, says she had her first COVID shot last week with no side effects. Okay. I'm crossing my fingers for that. What, what did you have Linda? Cause uh, it, uh, they're doing, I think it's Moderna. Is the name I had, it? I did a Pfizer. You did Pfizer. Okay. Mm -hmm. What did you do? Yeah. Jennifer? That's what we got. Pfizer. Pfizer. Okay. I've heard that Moderna doesn't have as many side effects. Okay. So maybe you'll get lucky. Maybe I will. I'm going to cross my yeah. fingers for that. We'll keep our fingers crossed for you too. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, Linda had AstraZeneca. She's over in the UK. So, oh, duh. I didn't even think about that. Sorry, Linda. <laughs> I, did okay. not even I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought of it. So she said it. <laughs> Everybody um, lives in the US, right? I don't understand. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I can think of uh, several people in this chat that don't. That don't exactly. <laughs> now, what's the new one that has um, the that just is the one dose? That's Johnson and Johnson. Johnson and Johnson. Okay. Um, yeah. Debbie is saying that uh, to Denine. I bought the same ones from Amazon that I that I had those bamboo ones with the clear the clear things. Oh, okay. And they them just fine, and they were for sure under twenty dollars. That's oh, good to know. Good. I might have to, I might have to check out some of those. Yeah. Good night, Sarah. I want to try oh, making night, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. And she had oh. a Pfizer with no side effects. So that's good. I didn't have any side effects with the first one, except my arm was sore, but my arm always gets sore. So with shots. Yeah. 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 But the second one, and I, and it was a little delayed. Like I didn't feel it until like nine in the morning the next day. Oh, and wow. I was at, and I was at work, and all of a sudden I was like, my neck's really stiff. <laughs> and I was like, wait a minute, my my whole body's kind of stiff, and I feel I kind of really feverish. Crud. <laughs> and I just looked at my boss. I said, I think I need to go home. Well, and she was she was going for her second one that day that I went home. Oh. Our, our our vaccines were a day apart, oh, and wow. she's like, oh great. <laughs> Did you get hit by it like that too? What's that? The side effects? Did your boss get the side effects too? The fever and stuff? Nothing worse than what I had. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So we were, we, we did okay. I probably got a placebo. <laughs> no, they only do that when they're testing. Jen. That's right. That's what they are. They're testing on all of us. No, they're not. <laughs> it's, it's the, it's the start of the zombie apocalypse. I just know it. I've, I've listened to a lot of audio books. <laughs> I saw the funniest, no. funniest <laughs> meme the other day. It showed a bunch of teenagers with their phones like this, right? And and it showed them like walking down the sidewalk and they all had their heads down. And um, the meme said, are you still worried about a zombie apocalypse? 
because like you were looking at one. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny. True. Uh, Debbie um, says in Arizona, I can't get on the list yet and I'm 62. It's so frustrating. Oh, at, wow. least with my, at least with my insurance company. Okay. I work at a school district, so um, we were second tier. So we got to get in there fairly quickly. And my husband actually works for a school district too. So, but he hasn't had his yet because he had coronavirus already. <laughs> he had to wait until uh, 90 days after his oh, wow. positive test. So, oh, uh, look at Elaine's here. Hi, Elaine. Uh, she what? says, I'm saving up to buy the Chow Gu teaspoon Tunisian hook set. I've heard mm -hmm. they're great. Oh. I love Chow Gu. I've never had anything crochet with Chow Gu. I've only had knitting stuff, but. I do love Chow Isn't Gu. that what you now, were showing earlier? Was that Chow Gu? Yeah, that was Chow Gu. Are they stainless steel hooks? I don't know. Because that would be like magic. That would be. Yeah. Because the, be the, the ones that you guys both had were, were wood, right? With the cables. Yeah. 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 And Most I have... Yeah, I have aluminum. The only other thing I have is aluminum and wood. I love them nice. both. Well, I know one of those wood ones is the furls, which is really, really well made. So yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got the fancy furls. <laughs> fancy furls. I love it. Nice. nice and this, nice. if you're wondering if um, Tunisian works up like how fast it works up. I started this at the beginning of the chat. And okay. here's what it is next to my face. And I was going to, I was going to hold up my, um, my five or my six ply blanket and show you <laughs> did this in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> nice. If you want your project to go really fast, really? use six strands and a huge hook. That's right. It'll yeah. go quick. Yeah. I'm this hoping to, Hoping to finish that this weekend. This isn't the fastest. This is using a six millimeter hook and I'm using the Just Cotton from Dollar Tree. <clears throat> okay. Nice. I love that, that Just Yarn. I haven't tried the Just Cotton. I really like I'm it. I'm always looking up at my yarn. <laughs> Are you liking the Just Cotton? See, I've, I've heard that the Just Cotton is splitty. Which well, I'm not a I I'm okay with splitty if you know it's splitty you know I have it's to like use a, the inline hook for splitty yeah, yeah. Splitty. see that's what I'm using yeah yeah and it it, it I, it's not splitting for me at all now with my regular hooks it does okay good to know but inline know. it's like a dream uh, Lizzie's asking what it is that you're making with that Ging Ooh, probably probably baby cool. stuff. I Actually, it's, it's going to be another crossbody bag. Oh, okay. Now, do you have a pattern for that, or is that just something you kind of whip together? That's I've got I've got a pattern halfway written. I've got a tutorial that I'm putting up on it. Oops, here it is. This was my this was my prototype bag. Yes, that I, I love that. First, and it's it's just a crossbody hangs down at the height of your hip, so you can keep your phone in it. Basically, bye, Viviana. Okay, bye, um, Viviana. So nice to see you here. Always a pleasure. But this is going to be a, a slightly bigger one. I'm making it in the honeycomb stitch instead of the simple stitch. Okay. Because I know, like, I'm going to do a tutorial on this one too, for this. Um, but it's it's good to have something that's like easy to make when you're first learning to do Tunisian. Yeah. Hi, Angie. So, Ginge, when you are doing Tunisian, like, what is it that makes the stitch different? Like, um, a lot of times in regular crochet, you know, you're yarning over once or twice and you're going to the back loop or the front loop. Like, what right. is it that makes it, is it the same things in oh. Tunisian that makes it different? Or is it the the pattern of, I don't know, like, how do you, like, do different stitches in Tunisian? It's it's the different type of stitches. Like it's the way you put it through and, and uh, it's kind of hard to explain. I'll, I will make a bunch of tutorials about it for the different stitches and everything. Um, but a lot of it has to do like there's a, per a Tunisian pearl stitch. Yeah. 
where you, um, is it like you go into, I don't know. You I'll just have to through, watch. <laughs> it, it's kind of like with knitting where you bring it through, um, the front, but you have the, the yarn in the front instead of in the back, you know, like okay. when you purl, yeah. you have, it's the same principle as like when you yeah. purl, you have your, okay. your yarn in front when you put it through and right. then you wrap it around. Okay. Um, and then there's this, the Tunisian knit stitch is different than the simple stitch. It, it's the one that, that looks like knit fabric. Knitting. Yeah. Like knitting, except it's a little thicker. <clears throat> right. Than, than your basic knit. Right. And then there's all sorts, you can make Tunisian bobbles. Uh, there are a million Tunisian stitches that are all so awesome. And I'm just going to keep up on Tunisian stitches for a while. Yeah, that's cool. I like that's it. Cool. Uh, Linda, I do record my tutorials with my phone. I record everything with my phone because that's what I've got. <laughs> yeah, I use... Um, Same. I use this arm right here, which has a light on it right now, but I use this arm and yeah. um, I have this camera. Oh, okay. Um, it's a, it's, it's a nice camera. It's a little bit cheaper than like the, um, the mirrorless. Is that camera. like a, is that a sure shot? It is, uh, the G7, G7X. It's, okay. it's a point and shoot though. Yeah. And I'm, I'm almost wondering here, if that would be a good option for me. I never so even thought about it. Flips up like that. So when I'm doing talking head type stuff, I have that. And mm -hmm. then whenever I'm doing the top down, so if I have it recording like this and doing my tutorial, I have it flipped up like this so I can see oh, what I'm doing. That's wonderful. Uh, there. So yeah, that's yeah, really that's, neat. Now I do I do have to try that. that. The the Canon M50 is actually um the one that my dream camera, but I'm not getting that yet because that's like a five hundred dollar camera. Um, and this one, it does, it's not, it does cost a little bit. Um, but I was, I was struggling with the phone. I kept going off, off screen. I couldn't yeah. see what I was doing. Um, now my, um, my shorts, they're all done on my phone. Yeah. Now I have learned with my, when I'm filming a tutorial, um, I've, I've learned to have the arm because all three of us use the same arm. Yeah. Thank you. I Julie. Have, you're, you're welcome. I um, I have that kind of angled in front of me so that I can see that I'm still in frame because that's always my biggest challenge. Yeah. Or at least it used to be. Now my biggest challenge is um, sound. Yeah. So that was my second question for you with your, your camera, Mel, is um, how is the sound? Do you plug in a mic or... I cannot plug in, in my, and that's the only drawback I say to that. And um, the M50, I will be able to, but that that camera is a couple hundred, just so you know. Yeah, so, yeah, no, that's okay. Uh, but you know, I'm, just, I'm totally rich and loaded. I'll just get the dream camera. With my fancy iPhone six, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, if you can afford to go with the M50, but that's a that's a good stepping stone. I'll probably use that one for a couple of years until I get the. Yeah. M50. Unless unless I win it um, at this contest that I just entered, <laughs> I hope you win it. Mal, you know has entered, Mal has entered this contest, you guys, and her. Can I say hero? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. She's like my 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 favorite person who teaches about YouTube. I talk She's about really, her all the time. She's really she good. talks about this woman all the time, Catherine Manning, and Catherine Manning is amazing. So if you guys are interested in YouTube uh, making videos and stuff, and I'm looking at the chat, and everybody has a channel, um, Catherine Manning's yeah. fantastic. Right. You so know, Mel has, en Mel has en entered a contest to win Catherine Manning's oh, sorry, identical sure. setup. <laughs> So we're what really hoping she wins. That would be amazing. And then she what? can give me her old camera. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I can ship it on to you. Exactly. I'll take what it out you of your guys, garbage can. <laughs> what would you guys think of next week um, doing a show? Maybe like, I don't even, not specifically on crochet, but on how great. we make our videos. I would love that. Okay, I'm good with that. Um, I would love that. 
to answer Linda's question there, she asked how I flip my tutorials to be right-handed. Uh, oh, this is a great trick. I learned this trick too. Go ahead, I Mel. Actually, it's, it's a filter in, um, in um, I use iMovie, I edit with iMovie. I use Apple products, all Apple products. So I have, I have my personal Mac computer and then I have a Mac from work. Anyway, I use, um, I use iMovie. There's a filter in there that you can flip it and I go through and flip it uh, on all of them. And fortunately this, the, the filter in iMac, because I've also used it uh, before I, I figured this out in the Mac, um, I was using C cyber power or so I, I can't remember, but another, another um, editing software to flip, but it flipped the whole thing, including the numbers or like yeah. the letters, whatever I had on top. But um, with uh, iMovie, it just flips what you choose to flip right so and, um, and it's the same way for kinemaster uh i can say that um you just yeah you just go into the rotation and and there's the little triangles and you just flip it and that's all you do for kinemaster so i assume it's pretty similar and the only way that you can tell that i have flipped it is if um i'm showing off the hook and you yeah the letters are backwards on the hook yeah. or if you yeah. if you see the label of my yarn right. and you can right. that backwards. But that's the only way you can tell that it flipped. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's, now, it's pretty it's pretty simple to to flip it. Now Linda, do you, ask, how do you edit your videos? <laughs> you know what um, you know what I'm thinking is this could possibly be a three week project on our lives. It could it totally like could. each of us showing how we, we all do our use different things. Yeah. yeah. And I think that would give each of us enough time to thoroughly go over how we how we do our things. Yeah. And yeah. everybody who has questions about that would be able to find them out here. Yeah, we could show you all of our gadgets that we use because some of our gadgets are not um, what you would think they are. I'm pretty yeah. sure that Ginger uses a rubber band in her car with the visor. <laughs> I do. I've, I've showed her a different option. It might be a little safer for her and her phone. You know, you're talking about mics earlier in sound. I am actually getting a mic to use, um, not when I'm shooting with my camera, but for my lives, because mm -hmm. it's summertime and this my AC over here kicked on a couple of times, but it's going to be running like crazy. <laughs> so. You have to get the headset ones that the gamers use. Oh, they yeah. look, they yeah. look really silly, but man, they are really good. They're very good, but I actually, it's a, it's a mic with an arm on an arm like this. Yeah. So oh. that's are going to look like a talk show. I, host. It's funny. Cause somebody will walk into my house. Cause we have a little itty bitty house for anybody who doesn't know. We have like a 450 square foot house. So I do this, all of this. I work, I do my, my videos, my editing, everything all in the kitchen at mm -hmm. the kitchen table. So I've got two arms over here, one, this bendy arm, and then I have another arm, flexible arm for my um, iPhone when I use that. And then I'll have coming from this side, I'll have another arm for the mic. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'll have to take a picture one day of what it looks like if you're looking at me. <laughs> so Linda, to answer your question um, about KineMaster, I actually have a video series on my channel about editing with KineMaster. So um, check it out. I love it. It's, you know, it's just like everything else in the world. Not everybody loves the same thing, but I love KineMaster. Um, I know that Ginger and Mel are so tired of hearing me talk about KineMaster, but I do, I do love it. And, um, but I, I honestly haven't tried a lot of other ones either. I've tried mm -hmm. um, iMovie and KineMaster, the only two I've tried and just fell in love with KineMaster and stuck with it. Once that, you get used to, <laughs> you haven't taken over the chat. You've inspired the chat. Yes, you, have, totally. you have created the theme for next week. So yes, well, maybe for the next three weeks. We'll see for how the next it goes. Um, Kiwi uh, says here, I've been thinking about getting a mirrorless 4K camera. The M50 fits the bill. Yeah. One good thing about the M52, and th this is probably the, because there's some great um, uh, mirrorless cameras out there. Like Sony has an awesome one and everything. But the flip out screen on the M50, you can turn it 
any way that you want to turn it. I'm sorry, but that is like a winner. That's really, yeah. That, yeah <laughs> that's, that's a, great. that's a, a big uh, check in the, and it goes on the side. side. Yeah. It goes on the side as opposed to up. So if you do put a mic on the top, it, the, it doesn't hide what you're doing. So say you do the front face, you can, it goes out to the side. So yeah. 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 And I do everything yeah. with my hands, you guys. <laughs> now, if we were to tie Mel's hands together, she wouldn't I, be I able to like talk. <laughs> oh my gosh. She wouldn't, she wouldn't be able to speak. They're connected. They're connected. Um, this arm that I use, I uh, I think Julie and Ginger and I all use the same one. It's it's mm -hmm. one that was about what fifteen dollars on. Amazon. I was going to say less than twenty, yeah. less than twenty dollars on uh, Amazon, and it was. Um, uh, I would look just for. It like, is uh, probably the best thing I purchased. How how would you search for a camera arm or something? I don't remember. I, I probably just tutorial arm or something. Arm. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to figure it out. Uh, Judy says, thank you for giving the yarn hookers a new subject. She's talking to Linda. I've been needing information about equipment. So um, if you need uh, questions about inexpensive <laughs> equipment, this is the girl to go to because I am I'm very, very thrifty. Oh. I'm not as thrifty as a rubber band on the car visor, but I'm pretty thrifty. <laughs> and I, I'm, I probably, I'm, I, um, I'm not the high, I don't have the highest in stuff, but I did, I did put a little bit of money in some of my equipment, just a little bit. Yeah. I, I put very little. I have, <laughs> well, I have my camera and I, I did get a um, GoPro, which, I'm still, I, I'm still trying out. It'll probably be irrelevant by the time I get it all figured out. But. <laughs> I understand that feeling. But My son does, has a GoPro and I've been tempted to use it because he doesn't use it very much at all. Yeah. But I would, the problem with my, with that though, is that my editing software cannot keep up with the resolution on right. the GoPro. Right. So I tried it one time and I got, all these uh, bright green pixelated squares all over oh, everything, wow. and that it, it, it did. I wasn't able to use any of the footage. Uh, that's it was frustrating. A, it was a bad day. <laughs> now I'll have to say that the in shot works great with the GoPro. It, it does a great job working with the GoPro. Okay, it, yeah, yeah, but yeah, I'm well, not sure I could get in shot on my Chromebook. So on your Chrome, oh, on your Chromebook, yeah, Chromebook. you can just get it on the phone. Oh, so what Ginger uses to edit. Yeah, she it's very right. She edits on her phone. So you have to get all of that footage from the GoPro, which I know how to do that. Yeah. That takes up a lot of space. It does take and up a lot of and space. And then you've got to upload it twice, right? Kind of. Which is why I have two phones. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This yeah. doesn't actually have a line attached to it. This is just an old phone that I'm using as a computer. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. Connected to Wi Fi. And yeah, I get yeah. that. Yeah, my son's got two. He's got my old one that he just uses for the Wi-Fi in yeah. his room. So like YouTube, watch YouTube videos while he, you know, is going to sleep or whatever. Mm -hmm. Sounds like me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm excited for the next couple of weeks. Yeah. I am fun. too. I've already got all my videos made. So next week, what do you think? Equipment? And then maybe the following week we talk software? Okay. That sounds good. Works okay. for me. Works for me. Hey guys, thank you. This is the stuff we normally talk about after the live. Yeah, like what, what do we do? You're getting a behind the scenes look at what the yarn hookers do <laughs> after the camera, after the the broadcast is over. Yes, yeah. this is, We're this is generally what we do. Until eventually, someone's got to either go to the bathroom or eat one or the other. <laughs> exactly. No. <laughs> so we are coming Probably. up on to about seven minutes. So um, are there any oh, other wow. questions in the um, chat? I know it's so weird because it's still daylight. I know. Yeah. I was not expecting it, expecting it to be this late. Yeah. I only just had to turn on my, my light. So pretty cool. Yeah. I haven't had to turn it on yet. I, I no, always have mine on. I live in a cave. <laughs> <laughs> so do you guys struggle with uh, daylight savings time as far as losing that hour? 
Like I never do, but I know some people really struggle with it. This year I did. I usually don't, but this year I did. Um, I woke up at 7 a.m. on a Sunday. And mm -hmm. um, yes, we do. We, uh, Debbie, we go live uh, every Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, we are here. <laughs> Unless there's something really extreme going on in our lives, and that's only happened once, we are always here. That's right. Yep. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, Lizzie <laughs> likes the behind the scene planning. <laughs> all right. Yeah. We like it too, Lizzie. We do it all week long. Right. And have, and have been since October. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, lighting. Lighting is such a big, big deal. That, that'll that be yeah. definitely a great subject to cover when we talk about equipment next week, because that is yeah. a, um, a big deal. When do you guys see my lights? Mm -hmm. I, I know what lights you have, and honestly, I should get those, but I'd probably end up getting <laughs> way too hot with them. What kind actually, of lights are they? Actually, I, it must be the bulb I use, because I can go over and touch that light right now, and there's no heat. Oh, so it doesn't put off that much heat? Okay. Not at all. Like Not at all. One here that puts off so much heat and uh anyway, you know me. I get hot easy. I'm like, oh, I know you do. Yeah. In fact, I've heard and I think who's the one oh, who is that YouTube that she does the lives and she drinks a lot of wine? Oh, um uh, it's so uh, funny. Um, um 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 oh my gosh, why can't I think I know I'm drawing a blank too. Anyway, she uses, I'm pretty sure, the same lights, and she puts, she puts a, a plastic grocery bag, like a white plastic grocery bag, over it. Oh. To diffuse to it? To diffuse it. filter it, yeah, and, um, and diffuse that's the light a little bit. And I was like, that's perfect. And I thought it could work on mine because the, the bulb I use just doesn't get hot. So I will put okay. it in, I will put it in my, uh, in my, my slideshow next yeah, week, what bulbs I use. Yeah. Jay Hook, cool. thank you. Yeah, no, Little Jay Hook is Reggie, but you're talking about Little John. Little John's, yes, Lord. that's what I'm talking yeah. about. He's the one. Now, Jay Hook does drink uh, wine while she does hers too, because she usually does her lives in the afternoon because it works better with uh, a lot of our audience. Do you uh, know why I got them mixed up? Because when I saw, um, I, when I saw her talking about it on Little John's, they were doing a live with Reggie. They were together. That makes sense. Yeah. So I got it mixed up in my head. Yeah. Yeah. That's that who it was. Sense. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I need to try that trick. It kind of, you know, breaks up your shadows. But yeah. sorry, I totally know, geek out on this subject. That's guys. a good trick. You're fine. I think you're fine anyway. <laughs> and both of those, both um, Reggie, which is J Hook Crochet, and um, Alicia, which is uh, Little John's Little John. Mm -hmm. They both have great, great channels. If you haven't checked them out, please do so. They're amazing channels. Yeah. Um, so just putting a plug awesome. in there for for them. Yeah, put in the plugs for the people who've got thousands and thousands. Yeah, of I think I think that uh, Little John's is like over 100k now. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. And uh, Jay Hook, I think she's getting she's getting close to three k. That's really good. So um, I'm Whisper close to three k. Yay! I'm close to seven or eight hundred. I just um, got over one one k, so I'm good. <laughs> Whisper says Alicia is awesome, but I was so flustered doing an interview with her. Oh, Ooh. Whisper did an interview with oh. Alicia. Ooh. Wow. wow. I am so impressed. Yes. <laughs> I did an interview with Kiwi. Yes. <laughs> yeah, wow. Little John's yarn is well over 130K. Wow. Yeah, yeah, she's got over 100K, definitely. Wow. wow. All I can say is they work their butts off and they deserve mm -hmm. it. And yep, that's good right. For them. Because it's for like them. a regular job. Well, and I think Little John just went full time um, YouTube. She she when she got over 100k, she just went full time YouTube. That's wow, really cool. I can't imagine that. Awesome, awesome. No, I can't either. I don't want to. Job actually, I don't even want to. That's an awful lot of work. I I, I don't know. I'll stick with my day job and do this for fun. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. That's or, awesome. Bag of Day did a um, did a shout out for David. That's oh that's yeah, I heard about amazing. that. 
Can I just say I was like his first subscriber? <laughs> and he came on my channel on Thanksgiving. We did a oh. Thanksgiving live. Yeah. Uh, yeah, David, and I think he had like I think he had like three subscribers or something, and yeah, he's doing really well. He's yeah, he is. Good for him. He's busting, and oh my gosh, how he how he he gets so many projects done, it amazes me. Like Ginger, Ginger gets so many projects done. Me, I'm lucky to get one towel topper done. I know, oh. I know. If my boss would just let me crochet at work, <laughs> <laughs> I do crochet at work sometimes, but I've been too busy in my busy in my busy season. I just can't. <laughs> wow. So Whisper says she did a live. I did a live and she was interviewing me on yarn dyeing. So that's really, that's really cool. Cool. That's that's cool. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we are just about to the close here. We're going on one hour and 45 minutes. And okay. uh, that's about the extent that we do. So um, I hope you all had a good time and I'm excited about next week. Yeah, I am too. Yes. This will be really fun. Yay. Um, awesome. Yay. Okay, guys. Well, I'll put on the, uh, the music. Yeah, as soon as I can find it. All right. See you later, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.